Here he goes, though, Sasua, Dominican Republic. Special shout out to Ray. Thank you, Ray, for pointing this glass method out to me in response to last week's Mango Mania video. I'll leave a link in the description below to give credit where credit is due. Quite honestly, I didn't think this method was gonna work at all, but it works like a champ, especially if you have mangoes that are ripe to overripe, which I now do since they've been sitting around for quite a number of days. I added a little tip to make this method even better, so stay tuned. All right, let's uh, pick one of our guys here. We're gonna pick this one to show you the glass method, all right? Okay, we got our items here, our sharp knife. I pointed the importance of that in last week's Mango Mania video. Our mango, I just took from the fridge. Of course, our glass and how we're gonna utilize that. Let's cut as we did before. And you know how to do this. I showed you this from last week's video. Gotta be careful not to knock the camera over, which is right in front of me. We're gonna cut our sides down as we did before. And I told you this was bruised. You can kind of see a little bruise at the top. And they bruise when they fall. We're gonna set our, get our other half going here. Cut that down. All right, step this guy aside here, behind. We're take one of our halves, and what we're gonna do is score this, let's get that tip, get that tip of that knife in there between the inside of the skin and the mango flesh, and just kind of cruise around, slightly. Keep it going, keep it going. You know, not that, certainly not that deep and watch out so you don't cut through the other side. And just kind of cruise around. All right, there we go, we did that. Now here we come in with the glass. I like to use the, the bottom part of the mango to start. We're gonna get our glass, the lip of the glass between the skin and the flesh, kind of put our palm tight like this, I got about a 45 degree angle with the, with the glass and just push. And a thin lip glass makes a big difference and look at that. I mean, it just almost perfectly clean. That's, all right, put that away. Let's just try it with this one. This is kind of an overripe mango. Again, I'll just show you this again. We're going from the top, just score a little bit around, cruising around. side now coming down to the bottom just following right along on the inside of the skin and the flesh of the mango making sure not to cut on the other side through the skin all right and when we've connected again we're only putting that in just the tip we've got the top we've got the bottom here just like I did last time we're gonna get that lip underneath where we just cut kind of palm the rest of the mango, as you can see right there, and just put pressure, slight pressure right through. And with my thumb on the top, and that whole, ma I mean, look at that. It just cleans that right out. All, that's, all that mango is right in there. And then you would just cut this as needed. Look at that. Slices right up. You've got your slices. Need to eat. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Using a glass works perfectly. Until next time, subscribe, stay tuned. Ciao.